Hello, this is Warner from Warner.TV, and today I want to talk about Battle Breakers! Today I want to talk about the Battle Pass. Chapter 4 of the Battle Pass has been released. After week 3 and the blessings that we received in the form of the Black Rampart, let me tell you, it's been some incredible farm. One zone, super duper fast, lots of levels, lots of XP. So, how can Chapter 4 even compare? Well, Chapter 4 can't. <laughs> Long story short, Chapter 4 is nowhere near as good as the Black Rampart. But let me tell you, after farming Chapter 3 for as long as I have, let me tell you, it could get a little bit tiresome to press replay every 20 to 30 seconds. You forget sometimes. So you have to really focus to keep a good farm. Sometimes you may need to do a longer farm, and I think that's what Chapter 4 brought us in the form of Fiendlands. Fiendlands is a five-level zone. It's Dark Element, so put together a good light team to go against it. I decided to go with the following lineup. I went with Gabe as my friend commander, followed by Cassandra Light Swarm, then Razor, then the new guy, Casador Demon's Bane, Vera the Breaker, and then finally Kaylani Lightblade. So I went with this lineup to kind of go for a sort of a glass cannon setup to get as much damage as possible. So I left out the cleric slot. I put Gabe in there as commander just so he can soak up some big burst damage. I have Kaylani Lightblade as commander so that she can provide a flat boost to damage with her 30% max HP and attack in Holy Blessing too. I also put the new guy in there because the more he attacks the better. He can ignore defense counter reflect. So he's just straight damage right now. You're probably wondering why I have Cassandra Light Sworn. Well, she can provide a little bit of heal. Her passive Holy Strike 2 allows her crit strikes to heal the party for 30% of the attack damage and restore mana. So she's just a lightweight, kind of a sustained character since I don't have a cleric. And I got Razor in there because Razor. Vera as well, her axe toss is just ridiculous. Her passive is ridiculous. Vera is just good all around. So this team hasn't failed yet and it's pretty good. It's not the best, but I'm still experimenting. I did five runs just as a test for you guys and the times are 57 seconds uh one minute 10 seconds one minute eight seconds 56 seconds and then 49 seconds and it all averaged out to guess what 60 seconds so it's approximately twice as long as black rampart because that can range between 20 to 30 seconds so that's not too bad if you need a longer afk time if you're like busy and you can't just get back to your computer or phone every 20 to 30 seconds this may provide a decent alternative to the black rampart it's fast it doesn't have a super boss so you have to worry about that long animation and it could go relatively quickly i think one of my fastest times was around 40 seconds so chapter four we got something it ain't the black rampart but it's something let me know what lineups you guys guys have or what you would recommend and tell me how they turned out if you like the video please comment like subscribe and ring the bell for updates also join my patreon guys patreon.com slash buona also use my epic creator code buona in battle breakers and if you defeat three bosses i get compensated for that so thank you epic for having me as an epic partner chapter four of the battle pass is here we don't have a a black rampart but we do have fiendlands and it provides like a minute farm as opposed to a 20 to 30 second farm for those times where you need to AFK a little bit longer. You guys have a great day. Enjoy the Battle Pass. Enjoy Battle Breakers. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.